on the side of that building. We had drills in school in case uh, an atomic bomb was coming, an air raid siren would go off. You would get under your desk and you'd put your hands over your head like that was going to do good, right? But we were ready. And then when the Berlin Wall came down, oh, we all signed a sigh of relief. We won that battle. We won the Cold War. We were praising Ronald Reagan and everybody else and high-fiving each other. And while we were high-fiving each other, secularism came in. And over the last 40 years, secularism and the progressives have slowly gotten in and taken control of Washington. They have taken control of your state capital. They have taken control of your city governments. They have taken control of your schools. And secularism is no different than communism. Godless. The godless secularists are here and they have taken our government while we were high-fiving and while we were relaxing and yeah, we won the Cold War, the enemy came in. Gradually, and over the last 40 years, they have taken control. And friends, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. When I was a young boy, we had the Ten Commandments on the wall in the school. Well, those are gone. And I've heard people say, well, Franklin, if you have uh, a godless or secularist teacher in there, and uh, what good does it have the Ten Commandments? Well, first of all, it's God's Ten Commandments. It has nothing to do with that teacher. It's God's Ten Commandments. And let the students at least read God's standards for their life. But we've allowed the secularists to take those away. When I um, was in school, the teacher led every morning in the Lord's Prayer. Minnesota and our church.